Hey guys, welcome to our channel where we give quick tips to help you with everyday life. My name is Joel and this video is about assembling this Eddie Bauer crib from Target. Uh, there's a few simple steps and I just want to show you guys how to assemble it. So let's get started. And all you will need to assemble are Allen wrenches. I have a couple different ones. This one works pretty quickly and so I like this one. Um, and then this one is just your standard Allen wrench. So this assembly comes with 14 wooden dongles and these are just the support piece between two of the pieces and I'll show you how to insert those. Um, I have inserted them on the base of this frame already just as a step ahead and I'll also show you um, what they look like. And then we also have eight long screws with washers. And we have four short screws with the washers. Um, this bottom piece here at the end of the crib already has this bottom piece attached to it and that's just the design piece to this framework. All right, now you have your two corner posts at the bottom and they have uh, three holes at the bottom and two holes at the top. The bigger hole actually holds the wooden dongle. And so you're adding the wooden dongle like this just to hold the support and then there's two other spots for the wooden dongles here and here. And the screws are actually the long screws and they will insert and hold um, this piece together. And so you will take the ends and if you notice I already have the wooden dongles in the spots one and two. Then you line up the top hole and the two bottom holes that are gonna go on the wooden dongles. And you wanna take note, here's a tip. Make sure that the outside is smooth and no holes and it aligns with the lip. And so the lip is sticking out and that's the way that the design is supposed to be. If you'll notice on the inside, the lip is not um, very thick and it's very flat. And you'll see the holes on the back side. And this is what's going to be facing inside the crib. So this is the way it should look. Um, then on the outside, here, you will see the two screw holes. And this is where you would use the long screw, insert, tighten it up, take another long screw, insert, and tighten it up. So once it's on, then you can go ahead and tighten it up using that Allen wrench. That's tight. All right, then as you notice, I tightened that one as well. Now you can do the other side. Put the wooden dongles in and tighten it up. Now your base frame is complete and set up. We'll put that off to the side for a second. And now we have two of these support rails. You'll want to notice what side is the outside. And this one is the outside. It has the Eddie Bauer tag right here. It has the four holes on the side. And it also has the bedding frame tabs on the inside. We'll get to that in just a minute. But at this point, you want to make sure that it's facing all inside. And this is the way it's supposed to go. All right, you also want to notice that it does say inside here, and of course the rivets tell you. And then you'll also want to note, this is a tip. You'll look for the bigger holes to match up with the wooden dongles. And you see there are two holes here. Uh, there's two holes at the top and there's two holes at the bottom. The wooden dongle is the bigger hole and it's on the inside, on the bottom side and the top. 
And so this is the bigger hole on the bottom of these two holes and then the top of these two holes. If you turn it around the other way, the bigger hole is at the top and that's where the dongle, wooden dongle will go on the end of the frame. And so if you want to, this can help you out. You can already insert the wooden dongle on the bigger hole just to help you know that this is the back side and it does not match up with the inside and making sure that it says inside because it can get tricky with two different ones and two different sides. <clears throat> so whenever you line it up, the wooden dongle should fit right on top of each other and that's how you'll know. <clears throat> now on the back side, then it can lean it down just where it's resting on itself just a little bit and you want to get the screws in pretty quick. Now you want to use the long screw, make sure the washer is still on there. Insert it in the back and there's a hole just like the front frame. Take another long washer or a screw in the washer and insert it at the bottom on the back. Once it's there, then take your Allen wrench, tighten it up. Not too tight, you don't want to put a lot of stress on those wood pieces, but just tight enough. And then you can go do the other side. Grab the last two long uh, screw and washer. Actually, need your two dongles. Put them in the big holes. Lean it back. Make sure you have the big hole, big hole on top and big hole on bottom um, are in the middle. And then it should also say inside and these tabs are on the inside and then just match it up. Now you have your bed frame and support walls. <clears throat> it's gonna wanna lean, so that's okay, lean it down. Now you get your end frame. And again, you're looking for it to look really clean on the outside. And that lip is going to be detailed and it's going to be facing outwards. And um, I'll just show you. On the back side, you can see the wooden dongles fit here on the top hole and the bottom hole. And the screws are smaller, so they'll fit in here on these holes. And so the wooden dongles will go on the top and the bottom, the higher and the lower. And I've got two more dongles that I'll put on this other side. I'll put on the top hole and the bottom hole. Now we just line it up. And for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna lock myself inside. Don't worry, I can get out. Fits on the wooden dongle on both sides, and now it's supported. The smaller screws go on the inside, and there's two holes, one on top and one on bottom. Very easy to find, very easy to follow, and then you just tighten them up. There, that one's tightened. Took a little while though. And then do the same thing for the other side. Now they're all tight. Gotta get out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Lastly, you wanna, in, you wanna use this frame, which you just wanna make a note of the sticker. It says this side up. And that's the way the, the mattress goes with these corners that can move a little bit and they can adjust and makes it easier for you to find the, uh, the hole on the side. And remember those four screws that were on the side, that's where you want to put it. And depending on the age of your child and depending on the height of your mattress, this is where you need to decide as a parent. Um, what level you want to put your child at either the high level the mid level to mid levels or the lower level 
and you want to put, you want to take off all the same screws. If it's the highest level, take off all the top screws. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure that your crib would come with all the screws in the holes. I actually did that once I um, set the crib up so I can make sure I know where all the screw holes are and all these screw pieces are. Okay, now we can put this in. It's a little tricky. You don't want to bump too much. This is where it's helpful if you have two people, but for right now, I'm a one-man show. The best thing you can do is hold it at an angle and at least get one started. I would not tighten it because the easier you can to just have a screw hold it, that can be your helpful buddy, your other partner. All right, finger tight. Okay, finger tight. Now you can see it can be done with one person. It's not easy, it takes a second, but if you get it in there finger tight, then go to the other side, you can come back and finish tightening up. Now this side's a lot easier. Just screw it in. Because I have someone holding the other side. Okay, now all I have to do is tighten it up. That's it. That's assembled. This bad boy's ready to go. Now, we can add the mattress for the final touch. And here's the crib, the Eddie Bauer crib from Target, all set up, ready to go. I hope your baby sleeps peacefully. Uh, there are a few quick tips that you needed to note as far as putting this together and the way it's supposed to look, and I hope this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from the Family of Five Quick Tips, click subscribe. And each week we like to leave you with a quote. The quote for this week is, the best way to predict the future is to create it by Abraham Lincoln. And remember guys, be happy, have fun, and enjoy the season of life you're in. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.